And with all those activities, of course, it's, it's a good idea to keep in mind the weather. We, Channel 5, relit the torch about five years ago uh, with some other groups of folks, and it was bitterly cold that night. It will be tonight, too, huh? Yeah, it seems to be a running theme whenever we go to light this torch, huh? But yeah, it, it'll be a great time. Definitely don't let the cold keep you away from that, but you do want to bundle up because it looks like we'll be back below zero by that point. Not yet, not there yet, though. We'll start you off in the Northeast Kingdom. This is a look at Burke Mountain from the NVU Linden campus. Currently three degrees. Took us a while to get above zero here in Lindenville, but we finally done it. Notice the west wind making it feel like 12 below, and that's pretty much the story for the rest of the day here. Still below zero along the northern half of our area. Places like Newport at two below. Finally at zero in Saranac Lake and two below in Messina. We'll take a look at that wind. You can see clean out of the north about 5 to 10 miles per hour sustained. That is making it feel much colder than the temperatures are letting on. Generally feeling like 10 below as you head towards the northern half of our state. And then as you go further south, that's where it starts to feel a little bit better. And in this case, a little bit better is single digits below to near zero. So just a cold day across the region. But it is a dry day because we have this big area of high pressure overhead. That's going to keep us dry at least through most of the weekend, I do think if we're going to find any snow showers, it's going to be Sunday, but even then, there'll be few and far between. We're all, we do get much warmer by tomorrow, mostly sunny skies sticking around. The clouds are back by Sunday, and by President's Day, I know it's a huge weekend for skiing around here. It's also looking pretty good, a mix of sun and clouds. We'll call it 25 degrees. So we have a great weekend coming up for you, but we do have to get through the rest of today, especially with those cold temperatures out there. This is what the rest of your Valentine's day looks like. Notice we drop back down to zero pretty quickly after about seven o'clock or so. So if you are going to be taking somebody special out to dinner tonight, make sure you bring a couple extra layers because it is going to be chilly. And then we just keep on falling as we head later into the night. These are the forecast lows. These are temperatures, not wind chills. As we wake up tomorrow morning, I do think it's going to be colder than last night for pretty much everybody. Teens below zero as you get into the Northeast Kingdom, places like St. Johnsbury, 15 below, and some of the colder hollows in the Northeast Kingdom like Island Pond, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some areas getting to about 20 below zero. So not as cold as it was last weekend, but still a very cold night on tap for us. Closer to the single digits below zero as you get into the Champlain Valley. So this is what everything looks like on Futurecast. Maybe a few clouds left over in the latter half of the day, but that's pretty much it. Notice how clear it gets by the time we start off our Saturday morning and then any clouds that are left over totally gone by the afternoon. Going to be a bluebird day, excellent ski day, so something to look forward to there. Bit cloudier as we go into Sunday morning. Notice a few snow showers in the neighborhood, but not much in the way of accumulation expected. The clouds do hang around for the rest of Sunday as well. And again, as we head towards President's Day, it looks like another mostly sunny day. Temperatures will be a bit cooler going from the upper 30s to the mid 20s. And then our next chance for a few mixed showers will come on Tuesday. We'll have to keep watching this to see if it'll bring any problems to the commutes. But then after we get past that, Wednesday through the following weekend is looking dry. Dave?